Hi everybody, I'm Amanda, Doctor of Physical Therapy with FitnessBlender.com, and today I have for you an upper body strength with bonus pulses routine. So that means that we've got 14 exercises, but we're gonna do each exercise twice. The first time we do it, we'll be working through a full range of motion, and the second time we do it, we're just gonna be pulsing around the mid range of the motion. So it'll be much of a shorter range of motion the second time through. We're gonna work for 45 seconds and then rest for 15 seconds. For equipment, you're going to need an exercise mat, a set of dumbbells, and a chair. And I've included modifications throughout, and I've also got a warm up and a cool down for you. So, with that said, go ahead and grab your equipment and let's get after it. Okay, everybody, let's go ahead and get started with our warm up. We've got 10 moves, 30 seconds each, no rest in between. I'm gonna get the timer going. All right, so we'll get started with our warm up in about seven seconds. So we're gonna start out with a boxer shuffle, just light and easy to warm things up. All right, so let's go ahead and just start shuffling those feet and just slowly get things warmed up. We're doing upper body today, strength training. Um, so we, you know, we don't need to do a whole lot of warming up for our lower body, but this is just gonna get the blood pumping, blood flowing, and just breathe. Our next move after this is a three trunk rotations, and on the third one, we lift our knee up. So we're gonna rotate and then knee. Knee, rotate, rotate, knee. Rotate, rotate, knee. Keep going. When we do this, make sure that your belly's engaged. And think about that rib cage rotating right on top of your belly button. Five more seconds, and then we're gonna move into a swan dive move. Excellent, so let's bring both arms up overhead. Big breath in through the nose. And then let's bring our arms out wide and then swan dive down. Get a little bit of stretch in the back of the legs and then bring them all the way back up. Take a big breath in and swan dive over. Stretch a little bit and come back up. Swan dive. Those sound effects are optional. <laughs> all right, so now we're gonna take a step back with our right leg, stretch up and over for a side bend and then step forward. Left leg goes back, up and over to the right and then back. So keep going, step back and side bend. Get a really good stretch in the side of your body. Keep going, a few more seconds. Our next one is gonna help loosen up our chest. So we're gonna bring our arms up overhead and then we're gonna bend the elbows and bring the arms down. Again, up overhead and a big breath out. Almost like we're doing a snow angel. <sighs> Open up that chest, squeeze those shoulder blades back together, get those muscles awake because we're gonna be using them today. <sighs> excellent, excellent. Okay, now let's work out our uh, rotator cuff a little bit. So bend the wrists backwards and then bring the arms apart, keep the elbows by your sides. You can keep your wrists like this the whole time or as you bring it back in, you can kind of bring your fingertips together. So there we go, and bring the hands together. And extend the wrists, externally rotate. Excellent, now we're gonna warm up our neck a little bit. So let's work out, or loosen up the right side, ear to shoulder, nose to shoulder, and then look straight down. And then bring nose to shoulder again, and then ear to shoulder. And just kind of work through that range. We're loosening up this right hand side first. Do what feels good, and then we'll move over to the left side. Excellent. Let's come over this way, same thing. There we go. 
Here we go, good. Oh, my neck is tight today. So again, just kind of do what feels good to loosen up that neck wherever it feels like it needs to get loosened up. Excellent. Next, let's put our hands either on a countertop or a wall. You're going to have your hands on that countertop. Step back. Put those, put the chest through your arms to stretch out the lat muscles, which are on the side of your body. And then do a, come back up and do a little bit of a lift. So sink down into the stretch, come out of it, lift one arm, lift the other arm. Have a soft bend in the knees so that way you don't have to worry too much about your hamstrings being too tight. All right, next, jumping jacks. Let's get into our last warm-up exercise before we get into our routine. So, you should be nice and warm. Your arms will be ready for everything that we're about to do. Keep breathing, 10 seconds. Maybe get a little bit of a drink of water, okay? I'm gonna get our timer going for our strength portion of the workout. Make sure you have your mat by, the, by your side, have your weights also nearby, as well as a chair, all right? I'm gonna switch the timer over. All right, okay. So we've got 10 seconds. Our first move is a bicep curl, okay? So go ahead and grab your weights. All right, so we're just gonna do a basic bicep curl. All right, we've got 45 seconds for this bicep curl. Then we're gonna have 15 seconds of rest. And then we're gonna do a bicep curl again, but we're gonna pulse it this time. So each exercise, we'll do it through a full range and then Follow it up with pulses in the mid range. So, right now, just breathe. We've got about 12 seconds left before our rest break. Keep going. Engage your belly, soft bend in the knees. Excellent. So, I'm going to use the same weights. So, I'm just going to put them down right here during our rest break. So, our next move for the bicep is our bicep pulses. So you're gonna find mid range, go above and a little bit below. All right, let's pick up our weights and here we go. Now we're just gonna pulse it, all right? When it comes to the bicep curls and the bicep pulses, make sure that you're not doing this. I see this a lot, unfortunately. Keep the elbows by your sides, pulse up and down. All right, squeeze those shoulder blades back, don't let the shoulders dance all around. Engage the belly, soft bend in the knees. Your biceps should be burning right about now because mine are almost there. Keep going. Squeeze the shoulder blades back one more time. Keep the elbows by your sides. And just make those biceps do all the work. Excellent. One down, just a handful more exercises to go. That was sarcasm. All right, next one is gonna be our tricep overhead extension. Let's switch our weights. I'm gonna go a little bit heavier. Okay, so we're gonna come overhead and then straight up, down and up. You can stagger your stance here, one foot in front of the other, like I'm doing, or you can have your feet uh, parallel with one another. Make sure that your elbows are close to your ears, all right? You don't want them all the way out here. Keep those elbows close to your ears. Keep a nice long neck and glue that rib cage down, meaning you don't want it popping up, all right? So engage those upper abdominals to pull that rib cage down. And also engage the lower belly as well. We've got a few more seconds before our rest break. Excellent. So I'm gonna use this same weight for the tricep pulses. So again, we're getting into that same exact move we just did, but we're gonna hang out in the mid range, pulse up and down, okay? All right, so here we go. 
I'm going to face this direction and we're just going to pulse up, pulse up, up, up. Same principles apply, belly engaged, upper and lower, soft bend in the knees, long neck, don't let those shoulders creep up by your ears, and focus on all the work being done in your triceps, which is the back of the arm. Keep your arms close to your ears. Don't let the elbows poke out to the sides. And here we go, almost there. Tricep should be burning right about now. Keep going. Go ahead and engage the belly one more time and breathe. Woo, very, very good. All right, next, we're gonna quickly get down to the floor. Go ahead and adjust your weights, lay out your mat. Okay, so we're gonna do a chest press here. Arms up and then straight back down. So your arms are gonna stay wide with this one, meaning that your upper arm isn't hanging out down here. All right, we're keeping everything nice and wide and slowly going up and down. In this position, again, we wanna engage our belly, keep a nice long neck, and breathe. Very good, we've got 15 seconds before our chest press pulses. So I'm just gonna hold my weights here. And here we go. All right, arms wide, bring it up into mid range and pulse. So again, we wanna keep our belly engaged. We wanna keep a nice long neck Keep the shoulders down away from the ears and go ahead and think about bringing your shoulder blades kind of down and back on your rib cage. It's a little bit challenging, I know, because you're laying on your shoulder blades, but just kind of bringing them down and back will kind of set up a really strong and sturdy foundation for your arms to move off of. Good job, keep going. Breathing in through the nose, out through the mouth. Woo, very, very good. Let's go ahead and sit ourselves up. I'm gonna fix my headband real quick. And we're gonna get into our overhead shoulder press. So I'm actually gonna keep the same weights that I have for this next one. Okay, so overhead shoulder press, we're gonna start up here. And we're gonna bring the weights up overhead together. And then right back down. Overhead and right back down. So my arms are gonna be wide for this shoulder press. There's a few different variations that we're going to do today, but this one, starting out first, we're going to be nice and wide. If at any point you need to adjust the weights and lower them, go ahead and do that. I'm probably going to have to lower them at some point during this routine. Keep going. Good work. We're almost there. Ooh, okay, I'm gonna lower these weights. <clears throat> shake it out, shake it out. Take some big deep breaths. Next, we're gonna go into that overhead press pulse. Let's hope I can make it with the weights that I'm currently using. We'll see. Okay, it's so gonna bring them up and pulse. Here we go. Pulse. So I'm gonna have a staggered stance here because that's gonna help me put my spine in a better position so that way I'm not arching backwards. My belly's engaged. Soft bend in the knees. Long neck. Oh, my arms are burning. Pulse, pulse, pulse. Almost there. We can do this, right? We can do hard things. It's one of my mottos. We can do hard things. Woo! Okay. Ooh, oh my goodness, that was that was challenging. All right. Next up, we're gonna do hammer curls. So I'm gonna definitely lower my weight for that one. All right. 
and pick them up. And here we go. So hammer curls, similar to bicep curls, but only our thumb, if you can see my thumbs, are facing the ceiling the whole time, as opposed to the underside of our wrist with a bicep curl, our thumbs are now leading. So this just works another one of our important arm muscles. Or I guess it should, I should say it emphasizes another one of our arm muscles. <sighs> Engage the belly. Good job. Seven seconds. Whew, okay, I'm putting them down, shaking them out. Next, we're gonna do our hammer pulses. We got this, we got this. We're moving right along. <clears throat> okay, pick up those weights and let's hammer pulse. All right, so just like the bicep curl pulses, I'll face this way. Elbows stay by your sides, meaning you're not doing this, all right? Otherwise you're working the wrong muscles. Shoulder blades down and back, soft bend in the knees, whether you have a staggered stance or not, soft bend in the knees, engage the belly and breathe. Sometimes I like to close my eyes and go to my happy place when things get to be a little challenging, physically and mentally. <laughs> All righty, next on the list is our chair dips. So let's go ahead and grab, grab our chair. Mine's right here. And I'll put it this way. Okay, so there's a few different ways that you can do chair dips, all right? The closer your feet are, are to you, the easier it's gonna be. Further away your feet, the harder it's going to be, okay? If you wanna have one foot out and one foot bent. That's all good. You can even alternate if you want. If you really wanna challenge, lift a foot up, okay? There's a lot of different ways that you can do it. I like this. <laughs> I'm gonna keep my feet kinda of close to me. Good, make sure that as you lower yourself down, you're not letting your hips come forward. So you're just dropping your hips straight down and up. Now I get to sit and rest for 15 seconds. Then we're gonna go into that same exercise, pulse it at its mid range, okay? Or whatever range feels comfortable for you. Okay, let's get into it. And pulse. Remember, keep the hips close to the edge of the chair or bench or whatever you're using. Don't let them come out here, okay? Keep those shoulder blades back on that rib cage. Whew, I need to take a break. Oh. All right, and then now I'm going back into it. I can do this, right? We all can do this. Maybe I should bring my feet a little bit closer. That might help. Gonna breathe through it. Woo! Oh, those back of those arms. They'll thank me later. Okay, next, let's put our chair aside. We're gonna do a row. So grab maybe like a slightly heavier weight than what you were using for your bicep and your hammer curls. Right arm first, stagger the stance, and we're gonna row. So make sure that your shoulder blade goes down and back on the rib cage as you bring your elbow up by your side, okay? You can have a hand on your left knee, or you can get really low into it and put your forearm on your knee, whatever works for you. Just make sure you're keeping tension out of your neck and the shoulder blade initiates the movement. Excellent, so now we're gonna go right back into that after this rest break and pulse it. <sighs> Giving those biceps and triceps a little bit of a break with this one. 
All right, let's get back into it. And pulse, 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 pulse. All right, with this pulsing motion, really want you to emphasize that shoulder blade, okay? And when I say shoulder blade, make sure that you're not rotating your chest at all, okay? Keep your chest facing forward as you make the shoulder blade go down and back on the rib cage, and then the arm just kind of follows suit. Don't let your elbow come out here. Keep it close to your side. All right, great work. Push-ups, woo! All right, let's put our weights away. Let's do our push-ups. Modify how you need to, because I'm gonna modify mine. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna have them on my knees and then back up. I'm gonna take my time with these, because push-ups are a race. And we're not doing as many reps as you can in this 45 seconds. We're going for quality over quantity. So if this is too easy, come all the way out on your toes. If doing it like this is too hard, you can walk your knees in a little bit closer. Okay? So find that challenge that works for you. And breathe. Believe and keep your belly engaged. Excellent. So now we've got to do the push up pulses next, okay? So find that level of challenge that works for you that you can do it safely and with proper form. All right, and remember, pulses are slightly quicker than our actual reps, but you can still do pulses slow in order to make sure that your form is spot on. Now you can pulse up here, if that feels better for you, or you can get really low and pulse down here. Whatever works for you, okay? Lots of different ways to do this. Take a big breath in through your nose. Breathe it out. Almost there. Okay, that felt like a bit of a burnout, and uh, we still got a few more exercises to go, but it's okay. We can do this, guys. All right, let's grab our weights for our neutral overhead press next. So this time our elbows are going to be close as opposed to a wide overhead press. <sighs> I am out of breath from those push-ups. <laughs> but it's okay. So now remember, as the arms go up, we're not arching our back, right? We gotta keep our belly engaged, rib cage tucked in, long neck, soft bend in the knees. And then the rest is just breathing. Excellent. All right. We got this. We got this. Next up, pulses. Okay. All right, let's do it. Pick those weights up and pulse. All right. So same thing, staggered stance, long neck. Try to keep as much tension out of the neck as possible. Engage that lower belly. Take a big breath in through the nose, out through the mouth. Tuck that rib cage in. Take a break if and when you need to. Lower the weights if and when you need to. Almost there. We got this. Sorry. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna lower my weights a little bit now for another variation of a bicep curl. 
Okay, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna start with our thumbs kind of leading, and as we come up, we're gonna do what's called supinating our wrists. So we're basically just rotating, okay? Rotating it so the underside of our wrist is facing our shoulder as we bring the weights up. So rotate on the way up, rotate them on the way down. So we're basically starting in a hammer curl type position, but ending in a bicep curl. Keep going, almost there. Make sure you're not swinging the weights. Keep the shoulder blades back and down. Excellent, so now we're gonna do a, uh, the pulsing, okay? So with this one, I'll just go ahead and show you. It's a small motion and we're hanging out in the mid range. So shoulder blades are down and back, elbows are by our side. We're starting out in that hammer curl position and then we're pulsing and rotating up, okay? Engage the lower belly, soft bend in the knees, shoulder blades down and back. Make sure the elbows are glued to your sides, meaning that they're not dancing all around, right? Keep them by your sides. All right, next let's lie back down on the ground. We're gonna do some skull crushers for our triceps. I think I'm gonna stick with the same weight for right now. So let's lie on down. All right, so arms up overhead. We're gonna bend the elbows, let the weights come down by our ears and then straighten our elbows back up. Bend them, straighten them. Now with the skull crushers, you want to keep an eye on your upper arm, meaning as you bend your elbows, your upper arm isn't lowering down. So keep it at that same, in that same position the whole time. Also, keep the shoulders down away from the ears and create a very long neck for yourself. All right? That way you can really isolate these triceps. Excellent. Let's lower down. Let's rest for a second. Whew. And we're going to do some skull crusher pulses next. All right. And here we go. Pulse. Pulse. So I'm going to kind of start with the weights a little bit closer to my ears. And then I'm gonna pulse them up towards the ceiling. Make sure that your, again, your upper arms are in a good position, meaning they're not too far down, they're not too far up, and they're staying parallel with one another. And they're not moving. The only thing that should be moving is your forearm and the weights that are in your hands. Everything else should be sturdy and stable. Take a big breath in through your nose. Breathe it out. Excellent, okay. All right, next up, deltoid raises. All right, I'm gonna keep my same weights for these as well. All right, I'm gonna stagger my stance just because I feel like that's the most comfortable for me. And then I'm gonna come back down. I'm gonna rotate my arms and then bring them right back down. So you wanna lift your arms as high as to where they're parallel with the floor. Keep your elbow bent to 90 degrees. And think about the muscles right on top of your shoulders, called your deltoids. Those guys are doing all the work here. Nice long neck, belly engaged, soft bend in the knees, breathe and believe. Excellent, so now for the pulsing, I am gonna lower my weight. <clears throat> okay. 
Okay, I'm gonna bring my arms out to here. I'm gonna pulse up, 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 up. Almost like I'm a bird, but I'm making very slow, very small pulses. Bend the knees. If you need to drop the weight at any time, drop the weight. All good. Engage that lower belly. Long neck, belly engaged. In through the nose, breathing out through the mouth. Almost there, less than 10 seconds. Wherever you're at, keep going. Thought about dropping my weights, but I can't now. I'm almost there. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, chest flies. Let's go ahead, grab our weight. I'm gonna up my resistance a little bit. <clears throat> All right, let's lie on down on the floor. Okay, so chest press is a little bit different than what we, chest fly, I'm sorry, chest fly is what we're doing now. A little bit different than the chest press. So you're gonna have your arms kind of in an, a circle shape, as if you're gonna give somebody a hug. And you keep that bend, same bend in your elbows throughout the whole motion. So the only thing really moving is your upper arm Bringing the weights apart, bringing them together. Engage your belly. And just think about wrapping your arms around someone and giving them a big hug. Excellent. So now for the chest fly pulses, you might want a little bit lower weight. I might be letting go of these at some point, but again, Keep that round shape in the arms and pulse. Here we go. And pulse, start your pulsing. Now you can pulse close to the top of the range if you need to. You can pulse lower down. You can pulse in the middle for any of these exercises today. So find something that seems challenging, hang out there for a little while, and then reassess. Can you go further down? Do you need to come further up? <sighs> Make this time. I mean, you're already taking the time to be here, which I super appreciate, by the way. And good for you. You're a rock star. But make the most out of it. Ooh, okay. Guys, we're almost done. Almost done. Let's, uh, we just need one weight for this last exercise which is going to be the row on that left arm. All right, so right foot, front of left foot, and we're rowing. All right, so again, this one, like we did on the right, shoulder blade down and back on that rib cage. Okay, and as you're bringing the arm up, make sure you're not rotating your chest. Keep your heart facing the floor. Shoulder blade initiates the movement and the elbow just kind of follows. You can bend a little bit lower if that feels okay for you. Makes that a little bit more challenging. And make sure that you're keeping your elbow pretty close to your side here. Good job. Let's drop the weight. One more exercise, one more set of pulses, then a water break, then a cool down. You're good to go. Okay, here we go. All right, let's do these pulses. Let's finish strong. All right, so again, shoulder blade does the work, okay? And the arm is just along for the ride. Engage that lower belly. The right foot is forward, so go ahead and put a little bit of weight through that right heel. That'll help engage this right leg and make it feel a little bit more sturdy. Almost there. Keep that shoulder blade working. Bend forward a little bit more. Yes, we did it. We did the workout. Now we just have to do a cool down. So I'm gonna put my weight back. And I would like for you now to go grab a drink of water 
and then come back and we'll cool down and stretch and then you'll be good to go for today. All right, I hope you enjoyed that water break. All right, let's do our cool down. We've got 10 stretches, uh, 30 seconds each one, no rest in between. Let's finish strong here, shall we? All right, so our first cool down is gonna be the swan dive, just like we did um, at the beginning during our warm up. All right, so arms up overhead, bring them out to the sides and then swan dive down. Go ahead and spend a little bit of extra time down here if that feels good for you. Kind of stretch out the back a little bit. Good, and then come back up. And swan dive down again. You can kind of, you know, stick your hips over to one side to get more of a stretch. I think that feels wonderful. Excellent, so now let's overhead tricep right arm and your heart rate should be coming down now after that water break this stretch feels quite nice because my triceps worked pretty hard during this routine especially during the uh the chair dips oh my goodness those are killer let's do that same stretch on the left hand side it's funny, every time I think like, oh no, like chair dips, they're getting easier. Then they, you know, there's a way to make them more challenging. And I think that, I don't know, I always feel like my upper body strength is not, it's definitely not as good as my lower body strength, but, um, but yeah, just when I think I'm improving in something, I'm like, oh, not as good as I want to be, but, but I'm a very competitive person. Let's go ahead and sit down. And let's turn our fingertips behind us and stick our chest out to stretch our chest and our bicep muscles. But yeah, I'm a very competitive person by nature, so I always like to, I always like to one-up myself, where it's like, oh, well, I did 15 of those one day, maybe the next day I'll do 20 of them. Alrighty, let's uh, lie down. Let's do some trunk rotations with a pec stretch. So let's have our right arm up and then let's rotate our knees, both knees over to the left. You should feel a stretch in your back and in your pec muscle with this guy. So we're just gonna hang out here and breathe. Excellent, let's switch sides. So knees over to the right and arm up to the left. So you might get some snaps, crackles, and pops in, um, in your back, because I just got one. Felt kind of good. But I definitely feel a good stretch right here in my pecs, that's for sure. <sighs> Big breath in and out when we're stretching. Excellent. Okie dokie. Next on the agenda, let's do some eagle arms, all right? So let's go ahead and stand back up. Right arm is going to be on top, so left arm underneath. And let's put our left fingertips on our right palm. And then let's just bring our arms straight up and down, if that feels good. Straight up and down. So again, to feel a greater stretch in the right arm, the left arm is underneath. Okay, so now let's switch that around, okay? So right arm underneath, left arm on top, and then place the right fingertips on the palm of the left side. And then just think about reaching your elbows out in front of you and your fingertips up towards the ceiling. Oh, this feels good, I'm gonna hang out here. Okay, let's go back into that lat stretch. So hands can be on a wall or a countertop. I'm gonna step back a little bit. 
bend in the knees, and then just let my chest fall through. And then I'm even going to kind of rock my hips kind of side to side to get a deeper stretch in the side of my body. So when I'm here, I feel this stretch all along in through there in my lat muscles. Excellent. All right, so let's just spend the last 30 seconds of this cool down on the neck. So ear to shoulder, nose to shoulder. Look straight down to get the back of the neck. And then let's go over to the left. All right, and just kind of play with it nice and slowly. Add a little overpressure if you want. But do what feels good. I'm going to do a little bit more over here. Whew. All right, we did it. Excellent work. This at times was very, very challenging. Uh, Might have been because maybe I just chose slightly heavier weights than usual, but but at least I know where I, I know where I I know where my strengths and I know where my weaknesses are. But I had a lot of fun with this routine, so I hope that you did too. And let me know what you think. Drop me some comments, and uh, if you have any ideas or suggestions for another workout, please let me know. I always appreciate those. And other than that, if this is your only workout that you're doing today, congratulations, phenomenal job, you did it. Give yourself a pat on the back because you're done for the day in terms of working out. Um, but other than that, thank you so much for working out with me. I'm Amanda and I look forward to seeing you next time. Great job, workout complete.